Sometimes when you're first learning PixInsight, one of the things that can be confusing is trying to figure out what your workflow should be. So I thought I would share a few of mine. The one that I'm going to cover here is for narrowband imaging. And uh, this happens to be a chart which tries to summarize that high level view and happens to have come from my Malat 15 imaging project. But it's one, uh, it's a method that I use quite a bit. Basically, my philosophy goes after uh, luminance processing versus color processing path, each with their own set of processing goals, and I embrace a starless workflow as well. Starting in the linear domain, I have my master images for hydrogen alpha, oxygen 3, and sulfur 2. I do the typical linear processing things that you would expect to do, like cropping out ragged edges, uh, removing gradients with dynamic background extraction, and then doing some light noise reduction to knock the fizz off. Once I've done that, I combine them together to create a luminous image. And then this becomes the basis of the lum luminous image processing path, while these three color images will be the basis for the color imaging path. Once I've done this, I transition to the nonlinear uh, processing space by doing stretches and I start working on the color image next. I take the three building block images and I adjust them one to another to make them a little bit more normalized. Um, and as I combine them together, I get my initial color image for the SHO palette and I do the typical uh, color adjustments that one normally does when first combining those images. At that point, I'm ready to go starless, and then um, I go starless for both the color image and for the luminance image, and it's in the starless domain where I do my aggressive processing, where I don't have to worry about distorting um, uh, my stars. My stars are extracted, they'll be processed on a separate path and recombined later on. Um, as I process the luminance, my goal will be to maximize the sharpness and detail of the image. As I process my color, my goal will be to get the best color position I can get at the smoothest um, low noise image that I can get. And when I'm doing that, I often use a lot of mass to target specific areas of each image and apply um, uh, processes to enhance the image to the way I'd like it to go. At this point, I combine both those images together and this color image is still starless, but will uh, inherit the best characteristics of detail and sharpness from the luminance image and the color and low noise from the color image and this gives us a strong image to work from. At this point we're also ready to start thinking about combining the stars back in. Uh, the stars having been extracted have their own processing done on them. Sometimes I reduce the luminance which acts to shrink the stars and then I deal with the color. Once the uh, the stars are added back into the image. I can do any follow, uh, finishing touches to polish the image, but basically my workflow here is complete.